Hi. I want to talk about health care in the United States of America. My name is Shannon Kringen, and you're watching Goddess Kring. I would like to say that I'm going to try to stay calm when I say this because I've been getting into big debates with people online lately about health care in the United States of America. I like to call the, the USA, USA Incorporated because it feels to me like we don't have a government in the United States of America. We have corporations who run the government. We have bankers and people with lots of money who tell the politicians what to do. A government and a democracy is supposed to be where the government works for the people. But right now what we have is a government that works for the corporations. So that's not democracy. Let me give you a little bit of my history. I am somebody who has never had health insurance. I am a low income artist. I live in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. And I had health insurance, I guess, as a child through my parents, but that was back in the 70s. I'm 43 right now. That was back in the 70s when things were not as corrupt as they are now. My opinion is that we need single payer in the United States of America, meaning we should eliminate the for-profit health insurance companies, health insurance companies. You see, I don't even want, I don't want to be seen as a customer. I am a patient. I am a human being who needs medical care. I am not a customer. I am not a consumer. When I, when I go to a store and I want to buy a stereo or a car or even food at the grocery store, I am a customer. But when I go to my doctor, I am a patient. I am not a customer. So referring to health insurance buyers as customers or consumers, I find very offensive. I am somebody who has traveled extensively. I have my U.S. passport and I use it. I've been to Europe six times. I've been to Australia and Mexico. They have universal health care for their human beings. I have been to Norway, where they have health care. Scotland, where they have health care for everyone. England, where they have health care for everyone. France, where they have health care for everyone. Belgium, where they have health care for everyone. Um, Spain, where they have health care for everyone. Mexico, where they have health care for everyone. Pretty much all the countries that I've been to outside of the United States of America actually has health care for everyone. For instance, I know a woman who lives in England and she has asthma. She ha Wait, no, her kids have asthma. She has rheumatoid arthritis. Very bad rheumatoid arthritis to the point where she needs to go to the doctor quite often. And in England, they have the NHS, National Health System and she had um, trouble getting pregnant. And in the United, if she was a US citizen, she probably wouldn't have two kids right now because in order to get pregnant and have her two pregnancies successfully, she would have had to pay several thousand dollars to some United States corporation. Instead, she went to the clinic and she had like in vitro fertilization or something. She had all kinds of treatments because she has arthritis and she has other issues. It was hard for her to get pregnant. And in, in the United States, she wouldn't have been able to do it. So I have a friend in England who's an example and I've asked her extensively questions. And sometimes her son has breathing problems and she has to take him to the children's emergency clinic um, in England and it's, she lives in Brighton or somewhere and she said they were there for six hours and there's no bill. There's no bill. It's built into the high taxes that they pay in England that they can go to any clinic they want and there's also a lack of paperwork. And my friend in Norway has the same thing. Now for instance, let's see, Profit has no place in medicine. I, 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 I am very much offended that people associate for-profit corporations with the medical industry. And doctors and nurses themselves say that they're sick and tired of health insurance companies getting in the way and interfering with them treating patients. A doctor or a nurse wants to help a patient. 
and give them the treatment they want. They don't want to be told by some administrator in some office, well, you can't give that surgery to your patient because we don't cover that, it's too expensive. And you know they say that the high cost of health care in the United States is rising. Do you know why? On Fox News or whatever they say it's because people refuse to pay or people ref Americans are unhealthy and they refuse to go to the doctor or they don't care about their health. No, the truth is the capitalistic people, pharmaceutical companies can charge whatever they want. In other countries, they're not allowed to price gouge. In the United States of America, they're allowed to charge $500 or more for an ambulance ride. In most other countries, they don't charge anything for an ambulance ride, let alone $500 or more. dollars. My friend in Norway goes to the clinic and she doesn't get a bill, and she pays very low fee for her medications. And she has elderly parents who get house calls from doctors because they don't really like to go to the hospital because they're elderly and it's uncomfortable for them. So the doctor comes to them and there's no bill. That's in Norway. I also have friends in Scotland. And I also have uh, my dad, for instance, he flies to Costa. He has my dad, makes pretty good, uh, makes a, an okay living, better than me. And he has health insurance through his job and yet he still flies to Costa Rica to get dental care because literally the dental care he gets in Costa Rica, which is perfectly good, even with airfare, hotel, and all the dental that he needed, it was literally four times cheaper. In other words, in the United States, it would have cost him 400%, literally 400% more to get the same dental work in the United States of America and instead he went to Costa Rica and paid 400 percent less. And I know that um, I've heard that medications in Germany are 20 times less than they are in the United States. And the corporations lie to the American citizens and say, well, American products are safer. Therefore, we have to charge 400 times more for them than they do in Canada or Germany or whatever or Cuba. For instance, Cuba, it's very inexpensive to get health care in Cuba. You see, so prices, the prices that they charge for medical procedures are made up. They don't have to charge $500 for an ambulance ride and yet they do. Why? Who decides these things? I know that what I want is single payer and I want the US government to tell pharmaceutical companies that they cannot charge $200 for one pill or whatever it is. You know, there's price gouging in the United States of America. And our system, okay, for me, I refuse to pay an insurance company a monthly fee because what are they going to give me for my monthly fee? I don't trust that. I'm not a car. I have a car and I pay car insurance. And if I ever get in an accident, hopefully the car insurance will help me deal with that. I don't know. But I'm not a car. I'm a human being. Car insurance is for people in case they get into an accident. Health insurance doesn't seem like it's for that. It's like it's normal for people to be able to have to go to the doctor. It's normal to get sick sometimes. It's not, if you get in a car accident, that's not normal. That's an unfortunate bad thing. When a person gets injured, that's, that's an unfortunate accident, but sometimes you get sick, that's normal. It's, I, okay, I resent the fact that health insurance is put in the same category as car insurance. And I had somebody online tell me that it's like buying a product. And here's an example of waste. My stepdad has health insurance, and he went to the dentist and he needed x-rays, and the health insurance company forced his dentist to take twice as many x-rays as he needed because they needed proof of something. So my stepdad was exposed to twice the amount of radiation that he needed, which was bad for his body, and it was a waste of x-ray film. It was a waste of time and x-ray film and money that the dentist had to do. Tw and he's like, sorry, I don't really want to take your x-ray again, but the insurance company told me I have to. So the insurance companies tell the doctors what to do. So my opinion is that we need to eliminate private for-profit health care insurance companies and have national health care in the United States of America. 
this would be a better idea than what we have now. I also know that if a European comes to America and breaks their leg, they're going to get stuck with a big fat bill. But if I went to Scotland and broke my leg, because I know people who, I know Americans who have gone and injured themselves accidentally in another country, and they're like, uh oh, gotta go to the clinic, I wonder how much it's gonna cost, and they go, and then they're not charged hardly a thing. Maybe a small bill or no bill at all. And that's not considered like, you're a freeloader, you're an American in Scotland, and you expect to get our healthcare service, and they don't have that attitude in Europe. It's not considered a horrible burden on the system if you happen to accidentally break your leg and you have to go to a clinic and you're an American, you show them your passport and you're like, I'm an American, I'm not Scottish. They'll give you a cast, they'll fix you up and they won't charge you hardly a thing, if anything at all. I know somebody who broke their leg in Scotland and they were not char and they were American and they were not charged. And they actually wouldn't mind have paid something, but they're like, no, 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 this is just basic health care, don't worry about it. Socialized medicine, no big deal. You know, just like the free public library, imagine if you had to pay $500 to check out library books. A lot of people would not be checking out library books. You know, the library system, the free public library in the United States of America is basically a socialistic system, meaning it's funded and everyone in society gets to go to the library, get a library card and check out books and not worry about paying a lot of money. In fact, it's free. The same thing could happen with healthcare. Our system could be a lot more simple. There's a lot of money and time being wasted on policy handbooks and competitive pricing with insurance companies. And instead, that could be eliminated. There could be less paperwork. There could be less complicated, strange, bizarre rules. My fear is that the new system is going to be worse. I don't know. I'm a low-income person. The way I do it now is I don't have insurance. I go to low-income sliding. I have a massage therapist that charges sliding scale prices. My therapist charges sliding scale. I pay cash. Uh, I go to the dentist. I pay cash. Sliding scale, cash to the dentist. I let dental students practice on me sometimes. I go to low-income clinics. Um, I pay like $20 per visit. It's not, not insurance, it's because I'm low income and I can prove it with my bank statements. And then I just pay out of pocket cash. That's cheaper for me than paying like 50 or or $100 a month to some insurance company. And then what are they going to give me? My other question is, how are they going to enforce insurance companies to actually follow the new rules? My, my cynical guess is that the insurance companies are going to be fined by the government if they don't comply. And then the insurance company might say, well, it's cheaper for us to just pay the fine than it is to give this person surgery or care. So they might just opt for paying a fine to the government instead of actually giving health care. That's my concern. And most European countries, it's free to take your kid to the doctor until they're like seven. A lot of Europeans have paid vacations. This is true. I have friends in Europe. I know this. I have a friend in Norway, a friend in Scotland friend in Ireland. I have friends. I have friends in Europe and I ask them questions about how their health care is and they all tell me. And also cell phones. Did you know that mobile phones in Europe, you only pay one direction. When you, when you call out or text out, you pay for those minutes. When somebody calls or texts you, you don't pay for that. That's more fair. That's how it is in most other countries, in, in most of Europe and in Russia, because I have a friend who lives in Russia and she told me this. America charges both directions. You see, we get ripped off by corporations in America and we don't know it. We think it's the best country in the world, United States of America. That's a lie. There's a lot of great things about this country. There's great music, beautiful landscape, Grand Canyon, all kinds of cool stuff there. Disneyland is fun, whatever. But there's a lot of things about the United States that are very unfair to the people. The government is so corrupt. I want more government. I want an actual government that works for the people. Not a government that works for the corporations. So this is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. I guess I'm going to have to do another video because I feel like there's a lot of things I didn't even say. So I'm for single-payer health care, and it looks like Bernie Sanders in Vermont is trying to get single-payer to work in Vermont. 
And I know that's how they did it in Canada. In Canada, they had like a small part of Canada had universal health care and then it spread like wildfire. So maybe if Vermont has single payer and it works well, each state will start jumping on the bandwagon and do single payer. It simplifies things. It could, you know, we could spend, the United States could spend less than it already spends and cover everyone if it eliminates the waste and it stops charging. Price gouging is a bad thing. Ambulance rides should not cost $500. That's just one example of many things that are way overpriced in the United States. So this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. Another video coming up. Thanks for watching. Uh, questions or comments are fine.